There is this old train station that has been preserved in Singapore since the olden days and it's the perfect place to have a glimpse of how nature has reclaimed our land after we are gone. I'm super excited to revisit the green corridor. It's like a lot of wild out there and it's super rustic, it's super nature. I love the place. Ah, let's go, let's go. It's closed for maintenance. Then, then how? Alright, that's all for today. Just keep thinking. Wait, no, no. We still have to do the episode. Then how? I don't know. Do you have any other plans? I mean, the path behind is like near Dairy Farm and there's Singapore Quarry. <gasps> I've never been there before actually. Shall we go explore it? Okay. Today, we'll explore the path towards the Singapore Quarry, also known as Singapore's Little Kuiling, and look for interesting wildlife there! I walk this empty street on the boulevard. Oh, no, it's not. It's not empty. Okay, never mind. Is it here? Quarry. I don't know. Ah. Map. It's map time. There's a quarry. Bukit Timah Nature Reserve is there. I spot the wildlife. All right, wildlife number one. Dragonfly. Unless they have like super bright colors, dragonflies they are quite difficult to ID actually. Unless you're an expert. Yeah, I remember when I was in my like undergraduate days, I have to look at the wings, you know. The vein pattern on the wings actually differs from one dragonfly to another. I found a cricket earlier. Okay. What's the difference between a cricket and a grasshopper? They look exactly the same. Why do they have different names? They're not exactly the same, but they are very closely related because they are in the same family known as Orthoptera. So crickets, they tend to have longer antennae. Then grasshoppers, they tend to have short antennae. And they, they look like different, you know, they got different aura. The grasshoppers are like, slightly elongated and it's like a very like, you know, suave and handsome. While the cricket is just like bulky and sturdy. I mean, I love crickets, but yeah, they're like the buff guys in the gym. Oh, it's one year! One year, one year, one year! There's a lot of isopods here. With reference to our pure bug infographic post, isopods, they, are, they look like insects in, on like first sight, but actually they are not. They are actually land crustaceans. And they have gills instead of lungs for breathing. But that's the reason why they require like, a very moist area. So they are usually found in leaf litters, where you know it's shaded from the sun, from the heat to prevent drying. Yes, so let's cover up and let the isopod live well. This plant is really interesting. It's the common mahang. You look along the stem of the plant, there's a lot of bulbous reddish brown thingies. And then you realise there's a lot of tiny little ants, which abdominal looks like a heart shape, they are known as heart gaster ants. And underneath is actually a starchy like food for the ants to feed on. So they actually have this mutualistic relationship, meaning they benefit from each other. So I help you, you help me. And in return, the ants will provide protection for the plant. Okay, how, how much longer? 250 meter. Oh, that's actually very new. Which is like almost times two of a 100 meter run. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many brothers here. There's one there. There's one there. Oh my god, you went all the way in. Ah, what did he spot? Can we talk to them? But what they find, like, I'm an annoying Xiao Mei Mei. They don't want to talk to me. Can I ask what bird are you finding? <laughs> oh. Can I take a small shot of yeah, it? Yeah, their eyes like super orange. Oh, very nice. We're here! But I'm more interested in finding out like what wildlife we can find here. I mean, look at all the birders. It looks like they found something interesting. That was a yellow vented boo-boo. It's actually very common around in your gardens and near the greenery areas in Singapore. Wow, fish! Fish! What did the fish eat? Oh my gosh, many fish! Hey, got koi eh! Are koi supposed to be found here? No, it's most likely it was released by some irresponsible pet owners. So these colourful breeds, they are purposely bred because of their beautiful colours to be sold in the aquarium trade and sometimes people just release them out. And it actually cause a lot of disturbance to the natural habitats because they like to stir up the mud and the sand at the bottom so they'll make everything muddy and that sand. That can be good. Yeah, so light cannot pass through, plants will die. Please do not release your animals in the wild! This is the Singapore Quarry, one of the three quarries that can be found around this area and believe it or not, the water here, right, they were not here in the past. So these are actually rainwater collected throughout the years that formed this beautiful freshwater landscape and how it is today. So in the past, people used to just like blast off the quarries here to get granite. Of course, we haven't been mining granite for a while and this place has become a beautiful nature landscape for all of us to enjoy and for OOTDs. 
Okay, we're gonna start heading back now and look for more wildlife along the way. And let me see the queen fly. Retiring. Oh, it looks a bit like Teddy Long Legs, but you realize they have six legs, so it should be an insect. This is probably a plaster back worm, and what you can see is the larvae popping out of its protective cocoon. So it actually creates this protective cocoon using soil and other debris as a form of camouflage and protection. And pupation will happen inside the cocoon as well. Through this journey, we actually found a lot of cool insects. We managed to see a lot of birds thanks to the birders around here. And also we managed to spot a lot of fish that are not supposed to be there. If you guys appreciate nature, or would just like to take some good OOTD shots, this place is pretty good. So that's all for today. Just keep thinking.